friends, this is Jamie. I want to welcome you to my channel today. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Today I'm going to show you guys my completed pages for July and August. Um, I didn't uh, have an opportunity to film my July ones because I got really busy with stuff and um, I don't have that many for August so I just put them all together. There wasn't that many in July and there wasn't that many in August so we're just going to put them all together. Um, I don't have my journals out with me. I just have my pages, so I'll just be showing you my pages. Um, uh, and yeah, we'll just go from there. I do have a little bit of a head cold. It's getting better, but, um, I'm just trying to take advantage of the moment that the kids are at school so I can hurry and film this. Um, we'll just get started and I'll try to tell you if it was in July or if it was in August, if I can remember. So, first book I have here, let me just make sure I'm in frame, yeah, that's good enough, is Miss Fant Fantastic Coloring Book, and this is by Deborah Muller, this is a quotes book, and um, I colored two, I think, maybe I just colored one, no, I colored two, I colored this one, um, this, uh, I think I was inspired to color these after I watched the full flip through of Anne Hatfield's um, book of this. She had completed this book and so I was inspired to color some of them. So I did this one with this color palette. I like how her eyes turned out. Uh, there's gel pen and markers and pencil on top. I don't remember what I used because it was so long ago. This was in July. And then I did this one as well. And I really like the color palette on this one. And I just did these one day when I was watching TV. With these ones, I don't feel like I really need to do a background or anything because they have the quote and they're just nice and simple colorings. So yeah, that was Miss Fantastic Coloring Book uh, by Deborah Muller. I colored one from a Woodland Fairy special. Um, I did this one because of the hashtag that me and Sarah from Chronic Coloring Down Under are doing for the rest of the year, which is, um, I believe it's uh, Love and Color in Heaven or something like that. Sorry, Sarah. I'll blame the cold medicine. I'm just, yeah. But we're doing the Color in Heaven hashtag, and I will put it in the description box below in case you guys are interested in joining us. Basically, we're coloring in our Color in Heaven collections, and in this one, I had never colored in it, and it was about time I did, so I did this one right here. I have some other ones marked for that I want to color, but I didn't get a chance to do those. But I did this girl. And this is called the Old Tree Fairy. Um, she doesn't look like a fairy to me because she doesn't have any fairy wings, but yeah, I just colored this one and the background is done with like distress inks. And I did this like magical strip like this. Um, I created the dots first with um, Uniball Signal and then I went over the top with um, a Spectrum Noir uh, Sparkle brush pen to give that little sparkly effect kind of like it's pixie dust or something like that I wish I would have went around the trunk of the tree more not just down this way but it was too late I already done that but that's okay I think it still looks very magical and very fun and I always like to have blue complemented with a redhead because I think they look good together so yeah that's how this one turned out so this one counted for color your hoard as well. And she's been colored with alcohol markers with pencils on top. The next one was another one out of my Color in Heavens. This is Fantasy Princesses Special and these illustrations are by Josh Lee. Um, the Woodland Fairies one, the illustrations were by Christine Karen. Um, this one, yeah, I did this one. Yeah, I really like how this one turned out. So this is my Rockstar Princess. Um, this is a uh, mostly markers and distress ink background. 
Um, I did use this black in the background is uh, an acrylic paint pen. I think it's Arteza. And these um, little flaming things kind of look like um, Pac-Man to me. So I colored them like Pac-Man. And um, it was kind of funny when I was starting to color, I was like, oh, I want her to have blue hair. And so I started giving her blue hair. And in my mind, I thought this was a cape. But then when I got closer, I realized this was her hair. And so I did it red and I tried to make it so that it blended into the blue. I don't know if it really worked, but it's fine. It works to me. And I really enjoy uh, this picture. I really like how it turned out with her fire guitar and she's very pastel-y. Um, uh, pastel rocker chic, I guess. And I think she was fun. She was fun to color, so yeah yeah I'm glad we got one I got one done in here I hadn't colored any of my Josh Lee pictures and it was about time I conquered that so I'm glad I colored that I colored some from the way home this was in July uh, this is by Morgan O'Brien I did this little guy or I guess they're all the same little guy but yeah, I did him and alcohol markers, and I did shade with pencils on him. I didn't shade the other stuff with pencils, just him. And I do have some white on here to highlight the clouds and stuff. And this was done fairly quickly, and I think he turned out pretty cute. After I colored this, I realized that some people you made this a cloud, not a bush, but it, mine's a bush. So, yeah, I guess that's what it works out to be. I guess everybody sees something different, which is cool. And then um, I did this one, too. And I think this one's really cute. Him and his little silver ball in the spaceship. I guess I could have turned this into a fall one, but it's okay um, I did do have some uh, glossy accents on the trees here not glossy accents um sorry uh, jelly roll uh, glaze in dark green and there's a little bit of glittery elements or shiny elements this is from the uniball um, silver and these are um, glossy uh, or glaze pen is the shiny so I got two done in there I colored one in cutesy Christmas special and this one the one I colored is by Ruth Sanderson and it was this one so I did this for July because it's kind of a Christmas picture but it wasn't so Christmassy that I didn't want to color it so this is the sleeping mice and uh, this coloring book is really cute if you have just a regular coloring book um, this mouse is basically dreaming of all these treats and I believe um, Meg's Disney Meg's was doing a the letter B and so this counts for bed so yeah and all the candies that are wrapped in foil have the shiny uh, metallic gel pen from uh, Jelly Roll on them. And it's mostly just markers, easy coloring, but it still is really cute. I like how it works out and looks so. Yeah, and I just kept this part white. It works. I have one from. Audrey Hepburn's uh, Wit and Wisdom to color and display and this was just an easy coloring and it was this one and it says I think that's what life is all about actually about children and flowers and this has been done with markers and gel pens and um, this uh, shiny part on the ice creams 
is my glossy accents right here where I think it should be fudgy and the berries as well and I think it's a pretty color palette and yeah I think those ice creams look very nice and there's some glitter gel pen on there on the cones but yeah that's pretty much it I did one out of my 100 Beautiful Mandalas uh, by Camellia and Jacoba. This was in July, and I did this one for July. And I like how this one turned out. I like the color palette. Um, I think this was a random pick, maybe. Or maybe I was doing primary colors. I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember, guys. <laughs> Um, I did put some dots here on the top of the blue white dots just to give it um, kind of a snow globey uh, appearance in the middle which is kind of a fun effect and I think it's really pretty I like this one and I've just been doing these pretty much in order so I have quite a few still to go but that's all right one at a time Next one I have is Color by Color Stained Glass Mandala, and I did this one. So this one, I just colored it how they ask you to color it, and then I added the white dots with my Signo Uniball gel pen, because I felt like I need, it needed something, and so I added those, and I like how it looks with the white dots, I think it helped helps make it different and fun so yeah not too much to go off there but fun mandala this is a fun little book this one in circle by coco yo this one was um i wanted to use my oil pastels uh in a coloring book and um i i didn't want to just use them very lightly or anything. I really wanted to be aggressive with my oil pastels and um, I'm planning on doing a video using them uh, for you guys to see but um, I first wanted to test them out on Amazon print paper and so this is my picture that I did so I've, I've already sealed it so um, as you can see there's nothing come on and off on my hand this has already been sealed and it's kind of shiny because uh, the seal or the the varnishing sealing stuff that I showed in my haul is the gloss kind. You can get the matte kind too, but I chose the gloss. Um, basically, uh, it's very um, painterly. Uh, you're you're going to have smudge lines you're going to be not coloring in the lines perfectly um this was actually a really fun challenge for me and um yeah i had a good time doing this one and it was kind of fun to use my oil pastels to do its own kind of blending and things and this was amazon print paper and so yeah it's good feels really cool so I glossed the whole paper not just the circle that's my log cabin and when um, I was doing it I was piling it on just like I would do if I was use, um, using oil paints uh, so basically I wasn't blending it out I was just adding more and more and more basically building up my stuff so that was a fun process I have a uh, Disney villain spiroglyphs. Um, this one was for July because I did this one. I don't know. I already colored this one the month before, but that's one of the bookmarks that I've colored. Um, this is the Big Bad Wolf, so that's how he turned out. And I used um, an Ink Joy um, pen, like an office pen to do him. So that's how he came out. Okay, so we're going into August, I think, now. I think. <laughs> um, 
So for my um, color along in August, we did a page out of Nice Little Town 6, and it was uh, for back to school, and it was this page. I want to thank everybody who joined me for this color along. It was a lot of fun to see everybody's images. If you're still working on this, you can um, still uh, put in the hashtag color along with Jamie um, on Instagram and you can see everybody else's. Uh, I tried to stick with some pretty primary colors and I just kind of pulled what I felt at the time. Um, after I saw Deb from Miss Sweet's Cat, uh, Crafting Therapy write cat on hers, I thought that was a cute idea, so I wrote cat on mine too. And I do have glossy accents on the light and on the ladybug and on these tulips right here. And yeah, I think it turned out really cute. Um, I need to do more in these books because I just think they're so adorable. Yeah, it's mostly markers. There is some pencil here and there and um, I have gel pens, obviously glitter gel pens, regular gel pens, fine liners, yeah, a little bit of everything. So that's how it turned out, very cute. Oh, and there's glossy accents on this one and this one as well, the beakers and the globe. So that's that one. I wanna thank everybody who joined me in this color along, it was a lot of fun. I hope to do more color alongs. Um, we'll see about doing one in September. I just haven't decided on a page, but I'm kind of feeling maybe Fall Friends from Deborah Muller. I'm just trying to decide on a page. So if you have Fall Friends by Deborah Muller, then we probably will be doing a color along in that book. The next one I'm gonna show you is this one. This one I did. Um, as my uh, Hues of Color collab um, video and I had a color palette and this is the color palette. I finished it and uh, this is a PDF by Chihiro Shimomi. <laughs> That's the name down there. <laughs> um, I thought it was really cute. It was supposed to be like a back to school thing and um, I just really like this because I thought this was very imaginative and it reminded me of something that someone would come up with after reading books or discovery in school and using your imagination. So that is how he turned out. And then I put a washi tape border around him. I think he's really cute. So yeah, I'm happy with that. And I used a lot of thick intensity fine liners and um, Arteza um, ultra fine, they're ultra fines, sorry, not fine liners, ultra fines. And yeah, it was really fun. Next one I have here is the Jana Prosperina countdown calendar for August and I colored this um, whole thing. Um, for the most part, it was like I started and I like colored a couple rows at a time. So I didn't do them every single day. Um, I just did what I could when I could and I tried to keep similar color palette from the top to the bottom just so it all kind of coincided a little bit and um, there's gel pen and markers and that's pretty much it. I don't think I used pencils at all because I tried to make it as easy as I could so I'd finish it. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I am trying to pick which one I think is the best. I mean, I really like the Yellow Submarine because of the Yellow Submarine song. And I like my mask on the little scuba diver. Ah, it's really cute. Very fun. I don't have the September one. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I don't have the September one, but that's okay. I don't know if I will be doing the September one. Maybe I'll do the October one. I did color one this month uh, in August in Amazing Mandalas. I wanted to try out this book because it was brand new. And I think this was a random pick. Yeah, I think this was random out of my big um, ultra finds. And I also used a silver um, gel pen. 
so there's some silver elements in there. I don't think it was the regular silver, I think it was a jelly roll. Um, it's like, it looks like a color, but it turns silver, so they're kind of different. Um, I don't know what they call those gel pens. The, the name escapes me at the moment, but that's how it turned out. Is it my favorite? Not really, but it's okay. It's a page done. I colored one out of Fairy Tales by um, Emily Leader Hall Oberg. Mine is kind of dirty. Mine's well seasoned. And I get this one. So I kind of felt like this was um, little schoolhouses and a planter box. Something you'd probably give your teacher. <laughs> and I felt like these colors reminded me of school. And so, yeah, one day I just felt like coloring this. And this is done with pencils. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I did do this with pencils, didn't I? What kind of pencils? I don't know. I think they're Prismas, guys. I think this was done with Prismas. And I have um, Uniball Signal Silver. And I have a glitter gel pen in gold. The background is done with um, King's Art Gel Sticks, Distress Style. And I just like how it looks. Very vibrant and very beautiful. I like it a lot. Here's my bookmarks that I did. These ones are the ones I did in July. So I did this Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse one. I think this was from my vintage bookmark collection. And um, just markers and some glitter gel pen on the back. And then I just put some tape on the back of it. Nothing special, just regular washi tape. And there's a line through the center because I use packing tape to laminate these. Someday I'll get a laminator, but until then, packing tape will do. And then I did this one as well. And this is Ellie from Up with diamonds in the back. And this one's really cute. I like how this one turned out. I made all of her badges sparkly. And I have stars on the back of that one. So, yeah, that little bookmark collection there. <laughs> I did one in Aria Vale. Uh, so I did the one that was supposed to be in, done in July. I kind of finished it at the beginning of August. So this one counts for my apples prompt and glass. You know, um, I like how this turned out. I decided to make my bear a panda because I love panda bears, as you guys know. And as I was coloring this, I started in pencils, but then shortly I didn't want to do that much work, so <laughs> I ended up using marker in the end. But that's okay. It still looks pretty, and I like the variations of wood on this page. As I was coloring it, I didn't realize there was a little boat right here, a sailboat with a kitty in it. Yeah, he was hiding. I didn't see it until I was actually coloring, which is actually kind of cool. Um, it's kind of like the hidden object you don't find until you start coloring a picture, which is fun. I didn't get the town registry done yet, but that's okay. I kind of had a rough month in August, so... Um, maybe I will do it later. If not, I'll just skip to the one that they're doing now. No pressure. And then one day I decided um, I need to start working on the buddy colors that I had committed myself to in this book back in like April or what was it, June. And I only got one done, which is this one. I still have a few. I think I have three more to do, so I haven't gotten those ones done yet, but I did get this one done, and this one was a buddy color with Ren Kelly, so I apologize, Ren, it took me so long to color this, 
but I did get it done and I showed her my picture and she liked my pink tree and just that pretty simple markers and gel pen nothing too extravagant that is how he turned that one turned out no background just nice and simple so that is all I have to share with you guys for my coloring pages for the month months of July and August I didn't do very much um, I had kind of a, a hard mental health month in July and in August um, we had a lot of family things we were doing and I'm still not a hundred percent mental health wise and um, now I have a head cold and so I'm just trying to do the best I can and color what I feel at the moment and I do have the buddy colors that I had committed to in the past they're in the to-do pile but I don't pressure myself to do them unless I feel like I can do them so um, if I've committed to a buddy color with you in the past I still have them on the roster I just haven't felt up to doing them honestly just because I either mental health wise I haven't been feeling right or I just I have been not feeling well in general so yeah I want to thank you guys for watching um, my videos and your support I know I haven't been on for a little bit I do apologize about that I do have a haul to share with you guys very shortly hopefully I can get it filmed within the next couple days um, and then I have some markers I was sent by ZSCM uh, they're acrylic markers I want to show those to you guys I haven't had a chance to film that either just kind of been waiting for my voice to come back to normal but I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe and I will see you guys next time have a fabulous day and keep safe guys bye friends <laughs>